think back to the best undergraduate course that you took in your university. What was so good about that environment that helped you learn? Hold that thought. Think back to the worst, worst undergraduate course that you took in your university. What was so bad about that environment that stopped you from achieving your best? Hold that thought. Right in between, you will find a mixed method sequential study that looks at the different learning environments that either support or hinder student opportunities to learn. That is my thesis. The international literature is consistent about learning environments. We know that the way students view these environments matters. We know it predicts their en engagement. We know it predicts their motivation. We know it predicts their achievement, their attendance rates, their attitudes towards learning in the classroom. We know that. But what seems to be inconsistent, scarce, and perhaps limited in the literature is the number of studies that looked at tertiary learning environments as opposed to those in the primary, intermediate, or secondary years. Now, this is done under the assumption that university learning environments are not different. They're quite similar to those experienced in the pre-tertiary years. However, my thesis argues otherwise, and that university learning environments are complex, rapid, and unique. And you only find that out by investigating student voice in these environments, which is the first study out of three in my PhD research. So I explore the views of various students from six faculties and 20 disciplines about their typical, ideal, and dreaded learning environments. Using a thematic analysis approach, I managed to extract the key principles, practices, behaviors, and qualities that make up various learning environments, which helped me put together a new class evaluation questionnaire to measure these practices across faculties, across disciplines, and across courses with the help of 1,700 students. The challenge then for my final study, therefore, was to investigate the relationships between how students evaluate the learning environments with their motivation to learn in these environments, with their expectations of success in these environments, and their achievement. Put together and put simply. This research provides an overall picture of what works with university students and what practices predict their achievement much stronger than others. Further, this research provides valuable feedback for teachers and educators, like myself, about the kind of environments that we create for our students that support, not hinder, the academic achievement. It provides us with information about the kind of improvements that we need to make if and when necessary. And lastly, but perhaps most importantly, from where to start. Thank you so much.